and you know nobody can stop us right and they have biden's full green light um to keep doing that that until now i think uh they're literally saying like we don't see any proof of genocide we don't see any proof of you know them abusing anything and it's just so hilarious <laughs> i don't know if you guys saw this recent response from um Netanyahu kirby? and and Biden, no kirby as well yeah but, but biden and netanyahu i don't know if you guys saw this but biden recently uh, met up with netanyahu for the first time in since the beginning almost of the war uh and so the guy is talking about uh you know and and i don't know if you guys have seen this as well but in israel it's becoming very very clear that there is no hope for a two-state solution right uh, netanyahu has made his his intentions very clear he said no matter what I've always been against it. He even like, you know, exposed himself as being the guy who has stopped it for so many years, almost like the mastermind, you know, the great, great genius who's prevented this from happening. Um, and so anyway, so so basically he meets with him and then Biden and then Netanyahu says, well, there's no two state solution. Biden says, well, after this talk that we had with each other, it seems like a two state solution can be possible under some certain regulations. Netanyahu responds saying, no, Biden is wrong. There is no two-state solution. At this point, like, why is the arrogant, U.S. Man. so keen on that? No, honestly. No, bro, like, but Netanyahu like, and Zionists are so arrogant. They're like, look, we own the U.S. We're going to decide things. We will be so blatant because you're, like, right? nobody's going to do anything. It no, is what it, it is. It makes sense from their perspective, right? Because you can see Israel as, like, a U.S. satellite campus, you know? It is their presence in the region, and they know that they'll have the backing of it regardless. And how can you say there's going to be a two-state solution? Once you confirm that, then um, your maybe long-term expansion strategy just can never come to fruition, right? So you can't say there can be a two-state solution because now you're conceding the land. But later on down the road, if ever you want to expand, if ever you want to you know, capture other parts, then all of a sudden they can bring up that two-state solution as precedent. So um, I, I don't think under this government regime whatever you want to call it under netanyahu that there would ever be because it it kind of it, it's very counterintuitive to his long-term vision for what uh what israel is that makes sense but still at the end of the day it's like you've got this little brother that's you know just wrecking havoc all over the middle east causing all sorts of instability right with this crazy amount of sheer arrogance lack of regard for anything but themselves and their policies and what they want to do like isn't it to the u.s's best interest to kind of keep that little brother in check you know it's like this like rabid bulldog it's like don't you want to keep that rabid bulldog on like a leash literally like i don't know to me it's it's baffling that biden as a person is okay with looking like a weak puppet servant to israel when it should be the other way around, if anything. Like, let's be real. Who is the actual superpower? Like, who is the one that, you know, used to be feared across, you know, the entire world as being one of the main superpowers that you just don't cross? There are certain limits. You don't do this. You don't mess with the U.S. Now it's literally like the guy is making a mockery of his own country, to be very honest. I think the example would be more like one of, uh, think of like a rich executive and their spoiled son, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you give your spoiled son a hotel, you give them a business to run, and they're running it into the ground, right? Now, sure, you can reprimand them. Sure, you could do something, but you're like, oh, they're my son, and I'm already kind of, I'm already in so deep. Let me just, you know, buy him a second hotel. Or let me just, let me just, that, that, I guess that's their position, right? If I'm the spoiled son, I don't want to be reprimanded. I just want, you know what? Like, oh, no, this Benefits. one is just a bad case. Like, double down. Like, can you just give me more money. I'll fix this. Don't worry, dad. I'll fix yeah. this, you know? And it's embarrassing for the dad. It's embarrassing, right? To, to, to go out in public and be embarrassed when he says, no, you know what? You know what, son? I think we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to cut our losses and we're going to have to shut down this hotel. And they're like, we're not shutting down this hotel. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? You know, it's embarrassing for the dad, but at the same time, it's like, oh, it's kind of my fault. You know, like I did, I did this. Um, totally. Totally. Yeah, I mean, if who, you... who would put their foot down? Like Biden? Like, it wouldn't I be mean, Biden. Really in this two... case, he's not right. <laughs> and Blinken, he's got he's got two passports. So let's be real. I don't even think he really yeah, cares. Yeah, Blinken about... won't because he literally comes first as a Jew. Biden won't because his son literally there's pedoph pedophilia stuff affiliated to him through Epstein. Um, that is like 
literally proven. Um, the whole Congress is pro-Israel because they're all paid off from APAC. Like, who's going to do it? Nobody, because they don't have any incentive. Actually, it's no. the opposite, where there's literally blackmail against them. Yeah, hundred percent. Is 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 Blinken a dual citizen? I I, I don't know because yeah, I, yeah. I thought I thought you can't serve in cabinet as a dual citizen. I mean, again, I don't know. I don't know. That was just my <laughs> assumption, right? You can't serve. The guy, the it's guy actually, for sure. It's actually a requirement now to for Congress to have Israeli passports. <laughs> In, in Congress, so you can have... No, no, I'm kidding, I'm Congress. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but you might as well. You might as well make it a requirement. To be in Congress, you have to be Honestly, in Israeli. I would be like, that's that's believable. Like, you know, I mean, some people will look at that and be like, that's anti-Semitic, but, but let's yo, be real. Question for you guys, because I have a theory, and Eger, this goes back to a chat we had a while ago, but I think we, we should bring up this theory yet again. Yeah. Uh, or, we sorry, we should... This the this piggybacks off of that theory. So let me just share my screen because this ties into something we we briefly assinu uh, assinuated to whatever the hell that word is. Okay, have you guys seen this clip, or just generally the 